All right, we're going to be talking Saints preseason. I've had quite a few people saying, James, my guy, my boy, the king of YouTube, the guy in sports media, why aren't we talking about the Saints preseason? So I promised it is coming, and we will do that. So we're going to do a bunch of videos this week on, on Saints preseason and some of the, some more Saints-heavy stuff. Now let me say this real, real clear, okay? I don't put a ton of stock in the preseason. Y'all know that. I don't put a ton of stock in the training camp. I don't put a ton of stock in the OTAs. I don't put a lot of stock in the preseason. Preseason is... Obviously, you can be excited about it. And we'll talk in here of some things that we should be watching out for, some things that you can be excited about. But the dangers of preseason is you don't know who's who cares. You don't know who's who's doing what. You know, one team may be running their two-minute offense. The other team may be running their... their uh, run stopping defense like it's just, it's just not a true game scenario I'm, I'm pretty sure the year the patriots went undefeated in the regular season and ended up losing to the giants in the super bowl i'm pretty sure they lost every game in the preseason you know sean payton i, I think punted a lot of the preseason now with that being said it is important to see how the saints play because of Derek carr because he's a new quarterback because of a new system and it's important to see how we're using players. Now, in Chicago, when Mitchell Trubisky was there with Matt Nagy, okay, Matt Nagy was really, 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 really good at scripting the first 10 to 15 plays, like the first two drives. And the Bears were really efficient and really good in those first two drives. And I used to make a ton of money betting on the Bears in the first quarter or the Bears to score first or any of that stuff because they were so good. But then they dramatically fell off. Why? Because some quarterbacks or some offenses run really well with like a scripted, you know, we're running these 10 plays no matter what. There's no there's no game flow thrown in. There's no game management. It's just do these 10 plays and, and make it happen. So sometimes teams in the preseason will do that. You know, they'll run those 10 plays. They'll run that two-minute offense. They'll run the end-of-half offense, and they'll look super efficient. So keep that in mind. But we are going to watch, in this video, Derek Carr's first full drive with the Saints. We're going to watch every play, and we're going to break it down. Of the Saints and now, real quick, as this plays, and I won't do the audio, but I, what I'm focused on more than anything is the scheme, how players are being moved around, what players are doing, what is happening before the snap. What kind of an offensive scheme do we seemingly have? All right, so Carr, I'll say this just an overall, 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 I thought Derek Carr looked really, really good. He is obviously different than Jameis Winston. He's obviously different than Trevor Simeon. Like you can just tell on this drive, he is a franchise quarterback. He is a legitimate quarterback. I'll say that. I, I'm, let me know in the comments below if you felt that. You'll see during these plays, he feels like a guy you can win with. He feels like a difference maker. And no offense to Jameis, but you could even tell whenever Derek came out of the game and Jameis went in. You could just tell the offense looked different, the how he moved in the pocket, the, the way the ball was thrown. It's only one drive. It's only you know five minutes or, or whatever of highlights, but. This gave me a lot of of, of what I, validation of what I've been saying that Derek Carr is a difference maker, guys. In a majority of the games we play, almost all of them, we will have the better quarterback on the field on the team, and that's something we could we have not been able to say since since Breeze. So here we go. First play with with Carr, and it was good to see you know Kamara and Michael Thomas and a lot of like everyone just out there. Felt good. So right here, you know, obviously, and that's another thing too, guys. Let me let me make this clear too. When you're talking about preseason, the results are not that big of a deal, as far as like per play. Like this play is something you like to see. You know, a little bit of misdirection, a little bit of play action, some pre-snap motion. Okay, we got movement pre-snap, like I talked about. Camara in the backfield. So we're already starting off good. We're already starting off. Who are you moving around? You're moving around Olave, your best receiver. Good. Who's in the backfield for the play action? Kamara, your biggest running threat. Good. Like those things are good. The design of the play, good. 
the idea behind it good now it did it work out no a lot of it with the drop but who cares you know like you, you, you can't focus on drops like that uh in the preseason so good design i like what i saw and I'll, I, I again like when i watch i've watched this drive i've watched the highlights i've watched everything a million times I, I i feel like Derek carr is is a has been a saint his whole career i mean he just looks tried and true all right so th- this a, a great run from camara results oriented camara great run i've heard camara's looked good physically i've heard he's running hard he's running fast we'll see uh but you know that was obviously a good run right here car second read going to his tight ends i think his tight ends are going to be a, a huge thing for Derek carr i hope so because we have three of them so Jawan johnson they're getting involved but this is the kind of offense you want to see the saints running right like this is this is what we want okay again pretty pretty normal stuff there I, I would hope the Saints aren't unleashing their entire playbook so it's hard for me to be like that's too much of a that's too much of a normal run you know that's too much of a up the middle we need to get Kamara in space I'm not I'm not here for any of that right now I like utilizing Kamara last year I was very vocal that Kamara would run the ball and then we, we wouldn't see him again for another like six plays and then he'd run the ball and we, and we wouldn't see him again for another six seven plays so it's good to see him get some work it's good to see that philosophy that scheme i feel like even though it's just one drive i feel like they knew what they wanted to do they what they wanted to accomplish how they wanted to run the offense and maybe that comes with Carr. maybe having Derek Carr out there allows them to have that foundation of a scheme or have has that have that foundation of an identity but hopefully we see more of this. Like hopefully every time they're on the field, you you feel that uh, that philosophy coming through and what they're trying to do. All right, let's see here. Okay, again, not great. You know, not not a great result there. Pretty normal looking run. But are they setting something up? And you also gotta you also gotta feel like. You know they they know Alvin's going to miss a couple games to start the season, so maybe they're getting him some extra work on these drives to get him those those reps before he takes takes an extended break. And Kamara had a bad season last year, right? He had a terrible season last year. So getting him comfortable, getting him back to normal, Alvin Kamara at a high high level. At some at one point, I would say he was probably a top five running back in the NFL. I think there's no arguing around that. If he's somewhere in that top ten running back world again. You know, I mean, he is so dynamic. He's exactly what we need. If we can get him back to that level, it would be, I mean, the, the offense could be one of the best offenses in the NFL if, if Alvin is playing at a top five, top 10 running back level. Car in the huddle. I mean, just so much leadership, so much command. Dennis. You've noticed Pete Carmichael is nowhere to be found. He's probably still in the locker room, has no idea the game started. I mean, that, like that, back to the tight end. Derek Carr loves his tight ends. Again, okay, let's look at the setup here. Let's break it all down. Okay, we're going shotgun. Got, got our weapons out. Camara's in the backfield. Now, Camara right here, if you watch Camara. He did a lot of this last year. A lot of this where he just kind of bleeds out into the flats. He's there to be, you know. I want to see Kamara utilize more proactively in the passing game. I want to see him running active routes. I know it can't happen on every play, but this was a lot of what he was doing last year. Now, you see Carr. Carr in the past has had a, a knock on him that he feels pressure really quick. He feels pressure immediately. He feels pressure when there isn't pressure around. I'm not saying he did that here, but it's something to watch for the season. I know a lot of like third down situations, cars taking sacks he probably shouldn't take. He escapes the pocket well here. Absolutely just, I mean, we, we, we got a two-on-one situation here. So Carr rightfully feels the pressure. Uh, could have easily been sacked here. And knowing it's the preseason, a lot of quarterbacks would go down here. A lot of quarterbacks would just go down say I'll, I'll see you later car stepping up keeping his head downfield you know still running the offense i mean these are 
this is big, guys. Like This is something you don't see a lot for a quarterback in their first drive with the team, trying to build chemistry and stuff. Carr is already doing very advanced things with this team. Uh, Camara's route, again, not great. Carr steps up, moves up in the pocket. What do I say all the time? I say that in the NFL, you want to move up into the pocket. A lot of rookie quarterbacks and not as good quarterbacks, they try and escape from the back of the pocket. They try and escape from the back and roll out because that's what you can do in college with your athleticism. You can escape backwards and roll. Can't do that in the NFL, or mo- most can't. So you want to escape up. You want to move up into the pocket and then escape like Carr just did there. So perfect stuff. Find his tight end, open space. Love it. I mean, this is fantastic. Great stuff. Moving the chains. There's one, there's a play in here I can't wait to get. Well, there's two plays I can't wait to get to. Okay, so this is, this is a, again, okay. Like, okay, I feel you here, Pete. I mean, this is, this is obviously a play for Camara. This is designed, this is a design, it's not a screen, but it's a design pass to Camara in the flats. You can see we have the, the slot. Uh, coming down here and you know blocking car is looking nowhere but Camara. I don't hate this. You know this is getting getting your best players the ball in space and letting them do things. It, it doesn't have to be. You know I'm kind of talking out of both sides of my mouth here with with uh, Camara. Every play when he's in the passing game, he doesn't have to be running these like super intricate routes. What I what I mean by him being proactive in the passing game is I do not want him just to be bleeding out of the backfield on a and, and as the sixth option and then Carr checking down to him and just dumping it to him. Stuff like this where I love these plays because these plays 10 years ago would have been a running play. Would have just been a straight up halfback iso up the middle. This is as good of a running play or like a, like a tempo setter on a first and 10. I love this. Th- this has so much more capabilities to be to be broken for a big play than just your generic okay it's first and 10 run the football so more of this on first down is fantastic i love this 10 out of 10 pete if you're listening which i know you are circle this play do more of this tempo the offense with stuff like this instead of just generic run play one do this quick uh quick passes to camara in space look at all the space he has here as a dynamic as a player as Alvin is, that's all he needs. You know, good stuff. Okay, perfect. Exactly. I mean, like, gets downfield, makes a cut, moves the ball, gets involved in the passing game, and more importantly now, the defense has to account for him as a receiving back. Love that play. Keep, keep, I, I want to see a lot of that during the regular season. All right, second and six. So now we start looking at, the, you know, the drive is going, so we can look at some situations here. All right, classic. That's the bad part about preseason. Tons of flags. To be expected, and that's what preseason's for. Carr, again, looks good. Great throw. Michael Thomas. So this is one of the plays I wanted to talk about. But majority of when I talk about Michael Thomas, I talk about these plays. You know, you need to pick up a first down. You need to make a tough catch. Use your body. Be physical. This is how I see Michael Thomas being used. This play was fantastic. I mean, having him as that type of a threat and not exactly your number one, but more of your pick up the hard down, pick up the hard down, pick up the hard yardage. You know, the shorthanded receiver who can who can turn a defensive back. This this is how you want to see Michael Thomas being used. And you also want to see him linking up with Derek Carr. You want to see him getting, he's the kind of guy who needs to get in a rhythm. He's the kind of guy who needs to, needs to feel like he's part of the offense and needs to kind of have the momentum. If he feels it with Derek Carr, he will be fully engaged. And that's what we need for Michael Thomas. All right. Again, pre-snap motion. Good stuff. Okay. Not my favorite play in the world, but whatever, you know, like we're being creative. Not every play is going to be a good play understandable be creative move some people around i i'm a big believer in you can have a play set up another play people are way too play-by-play oriented when they watch when they watch games 
running the ball or showing something like that to then come in later and do the opposite or to set up a big play or to set up a like right there we we faked the sweep and and you know ran up the middle if we're setting up something where we either end up with a sweep for a big game or gain or we do a play action for a deep pass whatever i'm fine with that. i'm fine with showing a look and then building off of it I, that to me is like the most advanced level of game management whenever you're calling plays with the fourth quarter in mind whenever you're calling plays for plays later in the game that's that's what i'm all about all right i think this might be the play that i wanted to really talk about here yeah it was okay again this play alvin Kamara is being used on this drive and and uh He's being more, used more on this drive than he, had, than he was the entirety of last year. All right, so right here, love the formation. All right, a lot of weapons on the field. We've got things spread out. We've got Derek Carr with all the weapons spread out. We show, we show a normal pass, and then Kamara breaks on a screen. So this is a screen, and but it was a complicated look. It was a misdirection. It was kind of they, they set it up like a normal passing play, late developing screen. Carr escapes perfectly. Obviously, they let the rusher the rushers through to, to set up the, the the gate down here. Camara again being hyper proactive in the in the passing game. Last year, this would have been a regular passing play. Carr would have got flushed out, and Camara would have caught it about eight yards behind the line of scrimmage on on just a check down, and, and that would have been it. But what happens here? Good design, good execution. What are we doing again? We're getting Kamara in space. Same thing as earlier. That that's that is a fantastic place to get him. Kamara in space with blockers. What happens? Lovely play. Gets it down to the five. First and goal from the five. Kamara already, and it, it's so different. These kind of receptions, these kind of plays, than three receptions when they're three checkdowns or three dump offs. This is proactive. It's something the defense now has to say. All right, look. We got to cover Olave. We got to cover Thomas. We got to cover the tight ends. Oh, and Alvin Kamara has three receptions. Alvin Kamara is running routes. That's what we want. Great stuff. Fantastic. All right. First to go from the five. Again, great set. And if you're the if you're the defensive coordinator right here, what are you doing? You know, you've got Michael Thomas, Chris Olave. Is this Jimmy Graham out here? You've got Alvin Kamara in, in shotgun from the five. I love that. I love spreading out the defense on the goal line. People want to, the old school line of thinking was to condense, to bunch it up, the goal line formation, get small. I like spreading it out. Spread it out down to down the goal line. I, I love that. And that's what we're doing. This this could have easily been I formation, fullback dive. This could have easily easily been halfback stretch. You know, we just had a great, we just had a great play, had a, had a 15 yard uh, passing play. We're first and first and goal from the five. This hundred percent could have been. Let's just up the gut. Let's just get two yards. But no, they say let's get let's get cute. Now is it because it's the preseason? I don't know. Hopefully this continues. Good formation, good passing play. Okay, I'm, I'm not not a fan of the fade. Never been a fan of the fade. I, I feel like it's. I feel like fades are generally wasted plays. Like you got to dial something up better. If you want to try and get it to Michael Thomas, fine. Do it. You know, do something else. But again, because of the preseason, I have no, I have no issue with like, hey, let's go, let's go get him involved. Let's see if he can do it. All right. So, so burn that play. Okay, and then, and then Carr, lovely. I mean, Carr, fantastic. Who's he go to? Kirkwood there. Is that Keith? Is that, is that Surehand's Keith? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Kirkwood. Yeah, it is. But Carr, right here. I mean, again, like this, this is the difference, guys. You know, this is the difference. Carr goes pump one. I mean, I, I think this is maybe the set, it might be his third read. Because pump, look, and then finds Surehand's Keith. Beautiful ball. I mean, pl- placed it perfectly. I'm not. I'm not going to say it's quadruple covered, but not exactly the easiest throw in the world. Carr makes it. Look effortless off his back foot. I mean, guys, this is, you can really, I mean, just the read, the quick reads there. What I like about those those reads in that situation is that, you know, Carr is not just running this offense with his first read, boom, go. 
he's really executing his progression. He's really executing this offense. The pumps, the looks, the reads, the check. Like he's everywhere. He's running this offense as efficiently as, as you would expect him to run if he's been in it for a couple of years. And he's been in it for two months. I mean, a fantastic a, a touchdown, fantastic drive. Just a great all-around drive there from Derek Carr. I mean, guys, look. We'll wrap up the video there, and we'll do a lot more coverage on the preseason, but you have to be so excited for what we watched. You know, the first game, the game is whatever, but the starters and car and everything, it honestly felt like the Saints of old. It felt like the Saints of, you know, the past when, when we were a Super Bowl contender every year. I've said we're a 12, 13, 14 win team. I've said we're going to win the division. I said we're going to be in the NFC Championship game, and I believe it. I truly believe it. This game gave me so much good feeling. I mean, it feels like the Saints are back. New Orleans is a football city again. Derek Carr is, is the Messiah. Buy your jerseys. I love it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. What you thought about the drive. What you thought about the game. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.